After deliberating for seven hours yesterday and finding her guilty of intoxication manslaughter and intoxication assault, there's another job for the jury. It must now consider how she should be punished. Prior to their deliberations, the jury heard emotional testimony from the sister of the man killed in the crash and from a survivor. Paul Venema now with some of that testimony. The damage caused by this fatal crash went way beyond the twisted wreckage of the vehicles involved. The wreck's emotional toll clearly visible as Valerie Velasquez Palau, whose brother Mario was killed in the crash, testified. Everything changed. My parents will never be the same. We were always a close family. He was, he was everything to us. He did everything for my mom and my dad. Her brother and four friends were leaving a parking lot and were crossing a sidewalk, attempting to enter the Loop 1604 access road when his car was hit broadside by an SUV driven by 24-year-old Rosalinda Olalde. She was drunk and had veered from the access road onto the sidewalk. Four passengers in Velasquez Palau's car were critically injured, including Gwendy Murillo. You think about that day every day? It changed my life because I... I just feel like nothing's the same. Losing somebody who was that close, it's really like losing a brother. The testimony wasn't entirely emotional. The defense called an adult probation expert to discuss the conditions of probation. At the outset of the punishment phase of this trial, he told the jury that Olalde had no criminal record and she's eligible for probation. Paul Venema, KSAT 12 News.